So we're going to go ahead and focus today. This is going to be a very brief video just to kind of give you a heads up on how we can use um, our Power Automate and Flow to actually sort and look through records uh, that we're trying to find within our environment. So stay tuned. We're going to jump right to it. So here is this mock data. There's only 10 records in here and we're focused here on the status field and the number I want you to keep in your head there groups by status we're going to look for new RMA and new RMA we're going to get one two nines a seven and an eight okay two nines a seven and an eight so don't forget that new RMA so let's go ahead and we've just done a manual trigger here we could do any trigger right we could do any of these triggers but we've just done a manual get items from SharePoint standard stuff call out the list and where the list is sitting and this is my list here and then we're going to add this filter array and this is the value from the get items that we've pulled and then status is a field within the list right here is that field so and we're just going to say it's equal to evaluation we're going to say it's equal to a uh, new rma okay and then we're just going to hit test we're going to go ahead and go now notice here you can keep just say automatic and it'll just keep testing right you're gonna get the item um it's just a weird error so that error by the way i'll show you where it is it's inside your get items if um you want to know to fix it it's because get items there's a, a limit that you can set for the query so uh, we just didn't set it and it gives you a warning so let's go ahead and look at this output here now Lots of stuff here. We're just going to look for new RMA at this point. So I'm going to hit Control F, new RMA, and there's the first one. Now remember, I said to remember some numbers. This is the number we're trying to remember. That's a nine. So we have a nine nine seven four is what we're looking for. So there's the nine. There's another nine. New RMA nine. There's the seven, and there's the eight. That's funny. Oh, it is an eight. <laughs> I thought it was a four. Okay, anyways, nine, nine, seven, eight. So as you can see, it works. <laughs> I was like, oh man, it doesn't work. Nine, nine, seven, eight. Okay, so we can find it. This is just a down and dirty way to do a filter of your data itself. Just using that filter array. Very, very simple, straightforward. And you can add this now and feed this variable what it's found here, and then be and then do another array uh, to shrink down based on date or or other things that are inside of your text so good luck